We are helping you get into the out there. And so is the National Park Trust. They're encouraging you to visit local, state, and national parks. Uh, it's a great way to spend time with your family and stay socially distant. Grace Lee is the executive director of the National Park Trust, and she joins us now to discuss this initiative. Hey, Grace, uh, good morning to you. Happy belated Earth Day, if you will. But it's Earth Week here on the Weather yeah. Channel, so you're all a big yes. part of this. Uh, you got a big day coming up. May 15th yes. is the 11th annual Kids to Parks Day. What is it, and how did it start? Well, Kids to Parks Day was launched 11 years ago, as you said, and the whole goal of it is to celebrate, appreciate, and explore and discover our parks. We have so many wonderful parks, as you just mentioned, Jim, state, local, national yeah. parks, parks of plenty. Now, you're celebrating virtually this year, so how can people, is it only virtually, or are there some parks that you can go to? Yeah, you know, we're doing a hybrid this year. We're okay. encouraging people to go to parks and follow CDC guidelines. We're not hosting big park events like we have in the past because of COVID, but that's no reason why people can't take advantage of parks in their free, uh, in their little social bubble groups. And, um, and so many parks are free and uh, so they can take advantage of them and they're right in their backyard. And we're also launching our My Park, My Why campaign, which is a way they can celebrate uh, their personal stories about what parks mean to them. All right, so why is it important for you, Grace, to in encourage people of all ages, actually, to get outside and enjoy these parks? You know, uh, with the pandemic, if uh, it, I think all of us realized how valuable and precious our natural resources are. They're amazing open spaces. They're also important historical and cultural sites that preserve the important stories of our country. And many of them just don't know that they're right there for them to take advantage of. And so we want them to go to the parks to do a 30 second video to share their my, my park, my why and their personal stories, and then um, post it on their social platforms and encourage others in their network, at least three others, challenge three others to do a my park, my why video as well. I mean, this is exciting to kind of bring the two generations really together, that's Grace, true. right? I mean, that that's part of it. Exactly, exactly. It's for kids of all ages. Um, I Everybody should get out and go to parks. It's so good for your mental health and well-being, as well as your physical health and wellness. And I, I really encourage everybody to uh, take advantage of our Park Passport app. It's free. They can upload it at the Google Store, the, all, any of the app places, and they can go to kidstoparks.org to learn more about what they can do. And we really want everyone to get out there, discover their parks, explore their parks, share their personal stories, and do a My Park, My Why 30-second video. I mean, everyone has their phones out there anyway, right? So you might as well know, just might do might a quick little 30-second. Uh, uh, you may want to call ahead at some of these parks. I know. Some of them do okay, get very because popular. Because they get very, Grace. very yeah. This is going to be one of the hot spots this year, the it National Parks. Be. Grace Lee, Executive Director of the National Park Trust, thank you for joining us uh, this morning and sharing your story with us.